Hi there, welcome back to my subscribers and if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for joining me today. Today we're making some Jamaican baked chicken. Easy recipe, really simple. There's so many variations of this and I will be showing you one of them today. First thing is our chicken. So the chicken has been marinated overnight. I will share everything in the description box below so you'll know exactly what I put into that. So that was seasoned well and we're gonna be baking it in a casserole dish. You can use a baking tray if you want to. All right, and you don't have to grease this because the chicken is gonna give off a lot of moisture. So it will be perfectly fine. So all I'm doing here is laying the chicken inside and then we are going to be baking it for a few minutes. And we're gonna be creating this nice little gravy to baste the chicken. So guys, I lost a little footage right here, but let me tell you what happened. I just sauteed a little bit of onion and garlic and ginger and thyme for a few seconds. Then I added the soy sauce and the ketchup. Now guys, with ketchup, some people don't like a lot of ketchup. Some people like a lot. I would suggest just adding one tablespoon first and then if you feel to add more then you can add more okay um, the more ketchup you use then the, the chicken will take on a more reddish brown color versus just a dark color so use the amount of ketchup you're comfortable with but I do like to add a little bit because it gives the gravy body it adds um, a nice little flavor to the gravy and I also add some sugar, brown sugar, because it has a lot of deep flavor compared to white sugar. And um, also, if the ketchup is one that's very tart, the sugar will help to balance that out. Again, you can use less than I did if you want to. Now guys, there are some times when I would have included sweet pepper in this. I didn't do it today but that is perfectly fine because that marinade that I did for the chicken it had delicious green seasoning and the green seasoning had ginger and sweet pepper and a lot of good stuff so when the chicken is partially baked we're gonna pour off some of those juices into this gravy so all those flavors are gonna help the gravy to taste even better while the gravy simmers you can add a whole scotch bonnet or you can add pieces of it it just depends on who you're cooking for on that day it's very important guys to always consider the person you're cooking for especially if you're not working uh, in a restaurant where you have a preset menu if you're cooking for your friends and family consider their needs their desires always think about the person who's gonna be eating this some people love pepper some people don't you know always think about that Now the next step is optional. I'm gonna be adding a little slurry. Slurry is just a mixture of flour and water or cornstarch and water, just to thicken the gravy a little bit. You don't have to add a lot. Start off with a teaspoon and whisk it in to prevent lumps. So while you're whisking, watch the sauce. You'll see it start to thicken. If you feel like it's thick enough, then don't add any more. And make sure you cook this out because you want to get rid of that starchy taste. And taste the gravy just to see if you need to add anything to it. Like some a little salt or a little sugar, a little black pepper, a little onion powder. Always taste the gravy. Okay. 
So while your gravy cooks on the stove, keep it over a low to medium heat. And at this point, when you check on the chicken, you have two choices. You can either pour all that gravy all over the chicken, put it back in the oven and forget about it for the rest of the, the um, baking time. Or the other thing you could do is mix all those juices with that gravy. All these juices you see here coming from the chicken and that delicious marinade. Mix those with the gravy that you are simmering on the stove and then baste the chicken every 15 to 20 minutes while it's baking. All right, so you got that? Two choices, either pour all of this all over the chicken, forget about it in the oven, that's the easy way, right? Or you could baste the chicken every 15 to 20 minutes while it finishes the baking process. So you just take it out, use a baster or a brush, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be brushing on the gravy all around, flipping it over, brushing the other side, and then I will check on it every 15 to 20 minutes and just keep putting on more sauce. When the chicken is almost done in the oven, guys, I will be turning up the temperature because when you turn it up a little higher, that's how you get those nice little charred sections. Make you feel like you had it on the grill a little bit, but you didn't, right? So I like to turn that up and I will let you know the temperatures and everything. Alrighty guys, so this is the chicken out of the oven. It's so nice. You still have some gravy in the bottom and then you have some charred sections where that sugar and that browning just caramelized nicely. So you'll have those little um, crunchy or chewy bits, but you still have that nice juicy flavorful chicken. And then you have the gravy. You can pour that on your rice or whatever side dish that you're having it with. I would say this is one of those dishes that we really love to have for Sunday dinner in Jamaica with the rice and peas um, but it can be had any day of the week and as I was saying you might see different variations of this mine has a reddish brownish color because of the um, tomato ketchup of course you can use less ketchup and then you'll see a difference in the appearance but the flavor will be just as nice trust me The day that I had this, I had it with some delicious rice and peas and some corn and some vegetables and plantain. I'll leave the recipe links for the rice and peas and corn below. So remember to let me know how you like the baked chicken once you try it. Thank you so much for watching and you take care guys.